home of the Tomb of Yawgmoth, and many other calamities of Dominaria's past, Urborg is an iconic location in several of Magic's greatest stories. In this episode, we will give you a rundown on the history of the cursed island of Urborg. Urborg is a large, marshy island on the plain of Dominaria. Its swamps are known for having one of the most concentrated amounts of black mana on the plain. Urborg was once a lush jungle, but when Urza activated the Golgothian Silex millennia ago, the island became partially submerged, turning it into a swamp. Urborg was the seat of Croesus one of the five primeval dragons of Dominaria's ancient past. His name meant death, and he was known as the Purger. The primeval dragons ruled over Dominaria until one of them was cut off from the other four. This weakened their powers, allowing the other races to defeat and imprison them. During the Phyrexian invasion, Croesus was freed from the tar pits of Urborg. However, Captain Sisse of the Weatherlight defeated Croesus by ramming her skyship into the dragon, driving him back into the same tar pits he'd escaped from. It is presumed Croesus is still imprisoned in Urborg to this day. The nobleman Krovax was born and raised in Urborg. Krovax joined the Weatherlight crew on their quest to obtain the missing pieces of the Legacy, but he ended up cursed and transformed into a vampire. He betrayed his crewmates and joined Yawgmoth, becoming Evinkar of Wrath. Krovax was slain by his former crewmate and friend, Gerard, towards the end of the Phyrexian invasion. The Planeswalker and Cat Warrior Lord Windgrace was from the island of Urborg. He was one of the Nine Titans, a group of powerful Planeswalkers personally selected by Urza to defend Dominaria from the Phyrexian invasion. During the last great battle, the Morrow Sorcerer Multani transported several miles of the forest of Yavimaya to Urborg to help the Coalition against the Phyrexians. This event led to the birth of the elemental avatar Maldrotha, the Gravetide. Volrath's Stronghold, which is now called The Stronghold, is located in a dormant volcano on Urborg. However, the Stronghold was originally built on a different plane, Wrath. The reason why it relocated to Urborg was from the Wrathy overlay. Basically, the event had the entire plane of Wrath merge right on top of Dominaria. The Planeswalker Venser was born and raised in Urborg sometime after the Phyrexian invasion. He lived most of his youth alone, inventing unique artifacts of teleportation. When the Planeswalker Teferi sought him out, Venser used his teleportation devices to help the Planeswalker travel across the plane to stop the Time Rifts. During the Time Spiral Crisis, a time rift opened above Urborg. Lord Windgrace attempted to seal the rift, but it ultimately consumed him. Sixty years after his death, the Cabal relocated their capital from Otaria to Urborg. Under the leadership of the elder demon Belzenlock, the Cabal claimed ownership of the island, and their operations were located in the stronghold. When the Planeswalkers Liliana Vess and Gideon Jura arrived on Dominaria, they sought Belzenlock and defeated him with an ancient sword called the Blackblade. From there, the Cabal was left leaderless on Urborg. That's all we have on Urborg. This has been Ruben Bressler. You can follow me at M-O-X-R-E-U-B-Y on Twitter, Instagram, and other social media sites. Please join me at Magic Mike's on Wednesday nights with Evan Irwin and Aaron Campbell for the week that was in Magic the Gathering. Please also check out Ravnica, The Broken Pact, the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica show on twitch.tv slash dnd, which I am the Dungeon Master of. Make sure to subscribe to Cool Stuff and like our video. We hope to see you again 
Thanks for watching.